Hey guys, it's Jonathan Wrestling Talking to Shop, and I just wanted to hop on here and do the uh, today in wrestling history real quick. I'm not in the, I'm, a, I'm currently at my day job, not in the, not in the ring or the shop, but I said I was going to do it every day, so I'm gonna hop on here and do it on this day. What is today's date, Lindsay? Twenty fourth. Twenty fourth. Okay, I have that pulled up, but I wasn't sure what to. Put. On this day, January twenty fourth in nineteen eighty one, Orville Brown passed away at the age of seventy two in Missouri. And on this day in 1988, the NWA Bunkhouse Stampede pay-per-view took place at the Nassau Coliseum in uh, New York. The main event saw Dusty Rhodes win the Bunkhouse Stampede match in a multi-man cage match, Battle Royal, uh, where he, he had to throw other participants over the uh, cage, uh, or out the cage. The other participants were Lex Luger, the Warlord Bar Barbarian, Tully Blanchard, Arn Anderson, and Ivan Koloff, and the Road Warriors. On this day in 1988, the first ever uh, Royal Rumble match took place on a special event on USA Network. The uh, match featured a 20 men and over the top battle royal, which uh, in the last uh, Jim Duggan eliminated a one man gang uh, to win the match. And on this day in 1993 in Sacramento, California, the uh, Royal Rumble took place. The main event. Uh, the event saw the first ever Ro Royal Rumble match that gave the winner a guaranteed title match at WrestleMania. Yoko Zuna won the match. Last eliminating Macho Man earlier on the card, Bret Hart uh, defended the WWF Championship match against Razor Ramon, and uh, that was the, and that set the match up for WrestleMania Nine. And uh, Yoko Zuna would go on to defeat. Uh, Bret Hart and then Hulk Hogan, who was earlier at, um, at WrestleMania 9, on WrestleMania 9, and then Hulk Hogan, who had a tag team match with uh, Bruder's Beefcake earlier in that match, he would come out and defeated Yokozuna. And uh, after uh, Yokozuna, or Mr. Fuji, threw salt in Bret Hart's eyes. And then, then that's uh, Macho Man sort of jumped over the ropes himself in that match. But anyway, we'll move right along. On this day in 1998, WCW sold out took place in uh, Daytona, Ohio. In the main event, Lex Luger defeated uh, Randy Savage on the same night. Chris Jericho won a WCW Cruiserweight Champion over Rey Mysterio Jr. On this day in 1999, WWE Royal Rumble No Chance in Hell pay-per-view went down in uh, California. The main event in the, in the Royal Rumble match itself, Vince McMahon was declared the victor. He entered the match in the second spot with his uh, nemesis Stone Cold Steve Austin entering first. Both men spent the majority of the match fighting each other. McMahon eliminated Austin and the first man to win the Royal to win the Rumble after eliminating only other competitor on the card was The Rock, who defeated uh, Mankind in the I Quit match. That was a gruesome match. If you go back and watch that pay per view, uh, Mick Foley took crazy shots to the head with steel chair. I just, I mean. You know, I just felt bad. It makes me, it kind of makes my stomach cringe going back and watching it now, you know, after what we know about chair shots to the head. But on this day in 2000, on WCW Monday Night Nitro, Sid Dishes defeated Kevin Nash to win the vacant World Heavyweight Championship belt. Uh, the title was uh, vacated since Crispin Wall defeated uh, Vicious to win the title and then left the company earlier in the month to go to the WWF and he along with Perry Saturn, Perry Saturn, Eddie Guerrero, Dean Malenko and they formed the Radicals in the WWF. And on this day in 2004, uh, longtime kayfabe WWF president Jack Tunney, real name Jack Tunney Jr. died of a heart, uh, heart attack uh, age of 68 in Canada. He, I, for When I was a kid I really thought he was the president of WWF and it turns out he was just a promoter who or his uncle owned a promotion and then uh, Vincent Man bought it out and he got a job out of the deal. On this day in 2018, the Royal Rumble took place. Oh, 2016, the Royal Rumble took place at the, in Orlando, Florida. The match itself was one of the most eventful in WWF history, WWE history. Roman Reigns was forced to defend his WWE Championship in the match. The first time this had happened, or the first uh, time in history this had happened, and in number uh, three slot, AJ Styles made his WWE uh, debut. And, and in the end, the mystery entrant was Triple H, and he won the match. And uh, then they would go on to WrestleMania 32. That was my first WrestleMania, and then uh, Roman took it from him there. We were there. Remember that, mm -hmm. Lindsay? 
on this day in 2006. The, huh? At Jerry Jones' place. Yeah, that was, yeah, Jerry World. It's called Jerry World around here. In, on this day in 2016, at an Evolve 55 in Orlando, Florida, Drew Galloway and Johnny Gargano defeated Tommy Edith and Chris Eero to uh, uh, win the Evolve Tag Team Champions. And that's crazy to think how many of those guys. Tommy Edith is now uh, Malachi Black. I believe that's who that is. It's uh, Malachi Black and Drew Galloway. We all know who that is. It's Drew McIntyre, if you don't know, Lindsay. Mm -hmm. And on, two, on this day in 2016, the uh, Progress Chapter 25, uh, Marty Scroll defeated Will Ospreay to win the Progress Championship. And that's going to wrap it up for today in wrestling history, guys. We appreciate you watching. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Appreciate everybody watching. Thanks.